Hey y'all, I've got a really good show for you today. I'm going to tell you about my budget from July and I'll share what I spent because I was actually surprised. I didn't plan on sharing it with you, but why not? And I want to reiterate how easy it is to keep your expenses down if you just follow a couple of guidelines. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wrap up of last week videos and just kind of talk about some of the comments that I got on each one. So this is going to be a fun episode. So let's watch it all the way to the end. Okay. And please subscribe and give me a thumbs up on this because YouTube loves to unsubscribe us. We're all going through it, all of us YouTube creators. I don't know why, but let's get going, okay? Let's go. Okay, everybody, I did make you some tea. This is um, Twilling's um, English breakfast. Yeah, this is my second cup. Cheers. Welcome to my humble abode here. This is my minivan. I'm Minivan Lee, and I've lived in a minivan, a minivan, for over seven years now. Oh my gosh. And it's a lot of fun. And um, I've got everything kind of down pat just a little bit. I want to also mention that temperatures are becoming a little bit more tolerable. Yes, in the area that I'm in. I'm in Flagstaff right now, and it's at about 7,000 elevation. Yeah. Now, I can go to 8,000. I think it's 7,000 something, but I can go to 8,000 and just hang out for the day. But this has been pretty cool. It looks like monsoon is still here. I see some dark clouds sort of gathering for the afternoon. In Arizona, if you're not from Arizona, the monsoons are very, are very cool. Um, what happens is um, that dark clouds, the clouds gather in late morning and then they keep increasing in the afternoon and then by afternoon uh, sometimes late afternoon it just they burst and it's torrential rain the other day was torrential rain oh my gosh but it was a lot of fun yeah so and i got my shower this morning did my hair feels good sometimes i just love to kind of primp a little bit and it, it feels good to do that my hair i can by the end of like four or five, six, about six days. Man, I need to wash my hair. It's just so flat, <laughs> so flat. Well, okay, budget. Let's get to my budget. The one thing that knocked my socks off was that I spent $86 in gasoline, in fuel. Somebody's yelling out there. Oh my gosh, $86, isn't that something? That's the least I have spent in months. And I went up to the Grand Canyon, which is an hour and a half away. I went up there twice. So it was there and back, there and back, right? So four times driving up there and then the same distance coming back. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, yeah. Well, uh, $86 is all. So that's why I want to reiterate the point that if you don't have a lot of uh, income coming in, if you're on a fixed income and your social security isn't all that great, right? And mine is, mine's only um, a few dollars over a thousand. It's, um, yeah, it would be a little bit more, but they take out for Medicare for me, right? So, yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't have a lot of money to spend either. So I try to keep my expenses lower. And with fuel only at $86, that really means I didn't drive that much, right? I mean, I guess that would be logic. I didn't drive as much. Well, Flagstaff itself is really only six miles from one end to it to the other, okay? And so basically, I don't have to do a lot of driving when I'm up in uh, Flagstaff for the summer. But like I said, I did go up to the Grand Canyon. I drove there, came back, drove there, came back, right? So it's, a, well, it's not even, a, it's only a half, half a tank of gas to get up there, which is what, which is really why this area is so nice because there's other things you can see. Like I could drive to Winslow 
and I could see something totally different in Winslow, and that's only an hour away. The Grand Canyon is an hour and a half away north. Winslow would be going east. Now going west, I can go to Sedona. Going south, I can go to Phoenix if I need to get there. The thing is, sometimes people actually do, I think in Flagstaff, they do drive to Phoenix because you can get more things there. Um, Flagstaff is a little bit shy of good products, having a lot of good products. There's two Walmarts here. They do have a mall, but it's it's really not that great. There's not a lot of stores at the mall. It's, I guess, it's, it, it's a very um, small mall. <laughs> it's very small. And there's not a lot of stores in there. And let's see, what else can you do here? I mean, there's Mary Lake and there's there's, BL, there's BLM land. There's Belmont you can go park at. There's Willard Springs. It's about 20 miles away. You can go BLM um, Park, Boondock. But if you really want to get some really good products and have a bigger variety, a lot of people, they drive to Phoenix. And I'll tell you one thing. If anything happened to my van, which God, yeah, God forbid, um, he's got my van protected. Oh, there's some kids crying. I would, I would have a tow to Phoenix. I would not, I, I would not have my car fixed here. I went once and they're so overpriced. They, they gouge. So no, I don't ever want to have my car fixed here. Yeah. So fuel, $86 is all. So let me mention that if you want to save money, go hang out in a city or go boond up. But you really do have to make sure that you have enough supplies, enough products, so you don't have to keep going back and forth and go boond up. Why not? Boy, there's a lot of uh, talking out here. I'm in a parking lot. I guess it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, the afternoon, the beginning of the afternoon, a lot of, lot of activity. So anyways, yeah, that's, that's my suggestion. What I do is I hang out, and a lot of you already know this, and I'm going to repeat myself again a little bit, but there's a lot of new viewers, and there's a lot of reminders that need to happen. You can do this lifestyle. You can save your money. If you're young, listen to this. If you're younger, and you do have to work, but you, you're having a hard time affording rent, get yourself a minivan or a van, okay and just live in the city park in residential areas park in areas you know because obviously you know the area and at night park in those areas you're going to save on rent you don't have to drive as much if you are actually uh, a van dweller already and you're a senior citizen you don't have a lot of money just hang out in the city you don't have to keep driving all over the place just live in the city right and you're going to find shade you're going to find the stores you're going to find um grocery stores with better prices you got your gyms right there you can do your showers right there yeah so i think it's a good idea that's why i do advocate city life but you can also do a boondocking if you're not too far outside of town because if you have to keep driving back and forth to get supplies yeah not good. You're going to spend more money. Now, I did spend, okay, I did spend $224. I, the category is called hotel, but I spent $84 in that hotel, that the hotel stay that I spent in um, last week, and I spent, it was $140 for um, camping because I was there kind of twice. I did like eight, nine, nine days, I believe. And then I went back a, a week later and I did some more days and it's $10 a day. So I put that under the category of hotel. Yeah. Paid for a stay. Okay. Now I spent 300 at Walmart. That includes food and um, essentials, but there's not that many essentials I bought this, this month. It was mostly food. And I, I mean, of course, I've got regularly my paper towels. I've got some baggies that I need to get. And I, I really didn't use, I didn't have to buy wipes this month. I already had three 
three packs and I, I don't use that many wipes. Let's see, what else did I need to get? I think I needed to get some mouthwash. Yeah, some deep, deep clean rinse. I buy this now. Yeah. Um, I didn't have to get propane and I did get the tea, but that's under food. The rest of it has been food. Yeah. I was going, to, I ran out of omega-3 vitamins. Well, they were gummies. And I've cut down on all gummies. There are no more gummies, <laughs> gummies, gummies, however you want to say it, because of the, um, the corn syrup in there. Yeah. Yeah, I decided, yeah, if I'm going to go sugar-free, then I'm going to cut it all out. But what I did was I, I was going to go get some actual vitamins, omega-3 vitamins. But I thought, well, no. So what I've been doing, and I'll show you what I get. Let's see. One, two. I'll show you everything I get. This is my breakfast. Yeah. I do like the Kipper snacks. I mean, these Kipper snacks have a little bit of a memorabilia for me. Because my mom didn't like these, but my dad and I did. So it was sort of a bonding thing. We would get crackers and uh, maybe some ketchup or something and we would eat um, kipper snacks together. It was a bonding moment with my dad, yeah. We liked those. Um, I tried another brand and um, I forget, King something, but when, you pull, when I pulled the tab, the tab came off. And it's really hard to use my um, can opener for this, I found. So what I did was the extras that I had, they're in my uh, storage, and I'll just use it just in case it's an emergency. But this is the kind I get now. That one, I've been doing the sardines. This is in skinless, boneless, in water. This is the brand I've been eating. And it says it's certified wild caught. Yeah, that's a big deal for me. This one is wild caught also, okay? Now this one is, okay. This one is in water also. I don't know why the package is a little different. Yeah, in water. But I don't mind getting into olive oil. I, I drain it anyways. I drain them. And I really do like these grilled mackerel. These are a little bit more expensive. I think these are like 268, 298, something like that. Whereas these in Walmart are 212. And these, I believe, are 192. Yeah. The other brand that I said that, that when I pulled that tab, that thing comes right off, that was only like 182. And I really and I did prefer those, but if um you know, if the tab comes off. If I can't open them, I don't want them. You know what I'm saying? You got that? So what I did was I bought a few of them. I've got them here so I don't have to keep running to the store. Yeah. Okay, so I got these. And I've been eating some carrots and some green beans. And... What else? And cheese. I've been going with the cheese. So I'm not afraid to spend at the grocery store. Now, as far as cheese goes, I've been trying to find the best I can some imported cheese. And it's a little bit more expensive because I'm not so certain on... They say that in America, they're putting some kind of a, a chemical in, in the cheese. They're making the cheese a little different than they did a few years ago. So I've just been a little leery. I wish I knew better what I was talking about with that. But so I've been trying to get some imported cheese and I, I've been spending more money on it because it's more expensive. So I'm not afraid to spend because that's my health. I want to be healthy. And if I can cut back on other things, I'm cutting back on rent. I don't pay rent. And of course, I don't drive as much anymore. And it's not like I have my electric bill. You know, I've got solar on my roof. If you're new here, I do have solar. I have a flexible solar panel and it's taped with black gorilla tape and it's taped on my roof. 
Let me mention something about that. When I talked about my solar, I did get a comment, and it's it's on the it's on, um, it's there if you want to read it. And she said that she followed doing that, and when she started driving, it went flying off. Okay, and she says I even double taped it. I think that might be the problem. You double taped it. One thing of tape will do just fine. If you start stacking it up and double taping it, if one gets under there, it's going to be, well, it's sort of like, let's do this. I'll show you. Only do one layer. Only one. Let's just show you. This is one layer of tape, and let's say this is two. It starts getting bigger. So if it rains, this lifts up, and what it does is it's lifting up all of it. And now you've got a heavier thing to be flood to be the the weight of the the air coming at it. So you this is going to be heavier, and it's going to be ripping off easier. One layer of tape and check it every once in a while. Get up there, just step up there and kind of look and see if it needs to be just like this is the tape. Push it down, push it down. Just make sure that it's down. Yeah. Um, so I don't know why it went flying off. The only thing I can surmise is that you didn't check it very often and you had double tape, which meant that, yeah, I don't know what double tape would actually do for you, except make it thicker so that water could get up under there and it'd be heavier to lift off and just go flying. Okay. So, but I do have the solar up there and so I don't really need, I don't have an electric bill. I don't have a gas bill. Um, what else did I spend? Let me go over this again because I do have some expenses. I do, my phone is 76. It's funny because these are $76. My car insurance is 76. I'd like to get that down. I think I can. And then my storage in Tucson is 76. I spent $35 in laundry. Yeah. I noticed with the laundromat that I use here, they, the, the cheapest less expensive washer is kind of big and it's 325 and it's a it's a, it's a side entry side washer but if you got the one where you lift up those should really i mean in tucson those only run to two dollars and 25 cents so it's a little bit more expensive here as with a lot of things in flagstaff and then i spent a hundred dollars and in a restaurant and what I did I, I'm trying to think what did that entail in a restaurant oh I know I went out to lunch went out to dinner with Max and then I went a couple times when I was in um, the Grand Canyon yeah um, and it was at El Tabar so it was a little expensive okay it was a nice treat and altogether it was nine hundred seventy three dollars last month which is really great okay not, not a lot of savings, but I do get a little bit for the uh, videos. Yeah. And there were some of you, thank you so much, for that gave me some gifts. Yeah. So you gifted me on minivanlee.com. And they clicked on, they went in and they clicked on gifts. And there were all kinds of amounts on there. So a special thank, thank you. A special, if I could talk, a special thank you to all of you who uh, sent me a gift this month. Yeah, really appreciate it. it. Really does help me out that I could put a little bit away because next month I might spend a little bit more. I really might. I mean, this month I kept it down, but there could be expenses. Here's one thing I keep forgetting I need to do, and it's about, I think it's about a hundred dollars now to get. Um, I need to change my oil. Yeah, I got to do that. I do it at Valvoline, and I'm going to change my oil. So. Okay, so that's my budget. I want to go over just briefly about some of the uh, the videos I did. I'll start from the top and go down. Um, yesterday's was about minivan beds. And I kind of talked a little bit more about it. I actually did talk a little bit more about it. I mean, in, di in a different way. Now, sometimes I suspect it's, that some people, when they leave a comment, they really didn't watch the video because there was a lot about the Beatles in there and Ed Sullivan and all kinds of stuff. What I'm thinking is, is this person did what she did. Well, she just saw the, um, the, the start of it about minivan Beth. She says, you need to get some new material. Well, I talked differently about the beds and I'm trying to remind people 
okay, about that, that you do have to go a certain width. You can't just skimp on size. And there's a lot of new people that want to hear about that or they they forget about that. So please don't think, oh, you know, you, you just keep recycling um, subjects. Well, don't we all? I mean, if I, we, I don't think we can come up with something different every single day. We're going to talk about subjects and they're going to be with what's going on. And I know a lot of nomad channels, oh my gosh, they just recycle and recycle. Well, sometimes it's necessary because you have something new to say about it, right? I mean, if I said something about minivan beds a year ago, I might have something more to say about it. Okay? <laughs> okay. Um, and then the, the one before that was YouTube. Uh, no, that's was the one that YouTube and I think, did I talk? No, Beatles was yesterday. And I talked about YouTube. But you know what? It was, a, it was, the title was about YouTube, but there was so much more in there. I couldn't make the title about every little thing. There were two questions that I answered and they had a lot to do with YouTube, but there was a lot of other things that were mentioned. So if you missed that one, go back and see it. Because there's a lot of information. If you've been watching me a while, there's a lot of information in each one of these, those little nuggets in each one of my videos. Okay, back on the grid, I talked about that. I was in the hotel room. That was really great. Van life do-over. See, <laughs> and this has to do with the beds, and, and that is exactly why I did another video on the beds. It's exactly why I did it a few days later, because so many of you said, oh, I could have saved so much money. I did a build out, I made a bed and I hated it. And I took all that time, the wood, all the, all the materials and I wasted money on it. So there you go. But there were a lot of people that mentioned and agreed that all of those things they wasted money on also. Let's see, I gotta put this on me. Yeah, it's getting warm today. Now, then the last one was, let's see, corporations. They're buying a lot of homes. I wanted to mention they are, they're buying a property and I've heard that they're doing it in other countries too. Yeah, they're just going and buying up property all around the globe so that they own all of it. And there's only like four major corporations at the very top, but then I've heard that even at the top, there's only one and they own really all of those, okay? But there are, I've really been noticing all of those ads on YouTube or on Facebook or on Instagram, they're just ad after ad after ad. Oh, if you have a home to sell, you don't have to worry about it. You can get a quote within like hours and it doesn't, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to fix it up. Well, those are those corporations. There's bought, they're buying them and they have a lot of little other LLCs and corporations under them that are all, all, they have all different names to them. So it doesn't look like it's the same one. And they're, they're putting out these ads. And so what it does is all of the profits really trickle up to the four and then up to the big, the big one at the top. <laughs> it's horrible. So yeah. Um, well, that's my wrap up for the week. And uh, I hope you have a really good day today and you have fun today. And I'm so happy you spent just a little bit of time with me. Uh, so watch your budget. Start keeping track of your budget. Keep track of your money. See where your money's going. If you're not a nomad yet, see where your money is going. And it may shock you of the money that you could save if you wanted this lifestyle. If you can't do it, you can't do it. At some point, though, coming up, a lot of people found out they had to do it. So I love you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer them. Okay? I love you guys. Please subscribe. <laughs> Which side am I going to put it on? I don't know. This side, I think. Bye now.